I'm Kenzie Grant, and here with me now is James Nathaniels, the CEO of Propank. So can you tell us a little bit more about what Propank does? Propank is a research and development company developing a technology that targets cancer stem cells in patients suffering from solid tumors, and we're looking to go into clinical trials next year. All right, so with these clinical trials upcoming, what are you most excited about coming down the pipeline for the company? Yeah, well, we're testing our uh, drug in patients for the very first time in a formal clinical trial. We'll start off in, in solid tumors and then move into pancreatic and ovarian cancers. What excites me the most is to see how this drug behaves now in humans. We've done all the formal preclinical development and if we can show now this efficacy in, in patients, then it's something really significant and we think it could really make a difference in our patients' lives. Okay, can you just describe a little bit what a solid tumor is? Yes, so a solid tumor is something that originates from an organ within the body. Okay. So it's not uh, a leukemia or from the bone marrow or uh, from the lymph glands or in the blood, but a solid tumor from an organ. And about what percentage of, I mean, if you know, what percentage of, of all cancers are from solid tumors? Well, it's about 80% of uh, cancers are from solid tumors. So if this works in one, the pathways that our drug targets means that it'll work for nearly most common solid tumors. So this is what's really exciting about the potential of our drug. All right, and so with this drug, you know, a little bit still down the pipeline, you don't exactly have a source of revenue from it yet. What do you do to stoke optimism in your investors? Okay, what we're looking to do right now is restructure the balance sheet with some monies raised, uh, bring in some equity, that could enable us to qualify to perhaps uplist to an exchange. Okay. So we've been working in uh, discussions with investors here at this conference, but also outside of that. Um, also, what we're looking to do is initiate licensing discussions. As soon as we start to generate that human data in trials, which is approximately three months in, we'll be looking to reignite some discussions that we've already had with um, top tier oncology companies of about 20 who uh, expressed a desire to see the human data. So this could generate significant revenue and unlock a lot of value for the company.